this is Miss Cowman, and I'm so excited for a reading today. Today I want to teach you about how to pay close attention to the ideas in nonfiction texts, just like we're detectives. Nonfiction books only contain bits and pieces of information about a topic. Authors have to choose what's really important because there's just not enough room in a book to include everything. The things they choose to put in their books are the key details. Today, we're going to notice how books have similar ideas and which books contain new ideas. Readers can think really deeply about the topics they read to notice the similarities or to compare how they're the same and to notice the differences, which means contrast the things that you learn in each book. We want to reread a lot of times. That way we can explain how the ideas are the same and how they're different. Well, I already read a book, and I'm going to share the books with you. I'm reading two books about bees. My first book was called Honey Bees, and my second book was called Bees. I'm reading about them because I've been seeing a lot of bees flying around since it's springtime. Both of my books had things that were the same or similar, and they had some things that were different. Both honeybees and bees had a section that talked about the body parts of the bees. Let's look at them together and see what's the same about these two books and what's different. Okay, I'm going to turn to page 12 and page 13 of my first book. So first book is Honeybee Body Parts. And I notice my illustration has labels that labels all the different body parts of a bee. Let's read our words. Honeybees have three main body parts, a head, thorax, and abdomen. They also have six legs. This makes them insects. Okay, so my first book teaches us that honeybees have three body parts, and I, they also have six legs. I know that from reading both the words and by reading the illustration or the photograph. Now let's look at our second book. I turn to page 8 and 9 where it's talking about the body. Let's read. Bees have three main body parts. They have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. They also have two antennae. This book teaches us that the bee has three body parts, and it also taught me that it has bees have two antennas. All right, we're going to start by comparing the two books and seeing how they're the same or how they're similar. I like to put the books next to each other. That makes it really easy for me to notice how they're the same. So here I have a page from book one, and here's my page from book two. Let's see, what do I learn in both parts? Hmm. Oh, look, it teaches me that bees have three main body parts. Both books say that. It also teaches me the names of those body parts, a head, thorax, and abdomen. Head, thorax, and abdomen. It tells me that in both parts. So I'm going to write that down in my sticky note. I always like to have something to write on next to me when I'm reading. That way I can write what I'm learning. So on my sticky note I wrote, both books show us that the bees have three parts. Both books tell us the name for the parts of the bee. That's how they're the same. Now let's think about how they're different. I can learn how they're different by thinking, hmm, what did I learn? Let's look at book one. Book one was honeybees. What did I learn in this book? Well, I learned where all the different parts are from looking at this picture. It shows me the antenna. It shows me the wings. I also learned from reading this book that they have six legs. The other book didn't teach me that. So I'm going to write that on my first sticky note. I'm going to write what I learned in book one. Now let's look at book two. And I'm going to think, hmm, what did I learn? Well, oh, you know what? The words didn't teach me in the first book about antennas, did it? Mm -mm. It only taught me about the three main body parts and the six legs. So I'm going to write that on my other sticky note. Let's see what I wrote down. In honeybees, or book one, we learn where each part is located on the bee. We learned that bees have six legs. We don't learn that from the book bees. In bees, we learned 
in bees' set book two, in bees, we learned that bees have two antennae. We don't learn that from the book Honeybees. Wow, do you see what we did today? We really asked ourselves, what did we learn from each book? Last, after we asked ourselves that, we thought how they're the same and how they're different. That means we compared and contrasted them. That is what you are going to get to do today. You're going to read a part of the book from honeybees and a part of the book from bees, and you're going to look to see how they're the same and how they're different. I can't wait to see what you learn. Good luck!